This procedure can be found under vascular access titled Peripherally Inserted Central Catheter and Midline Catheter Maintenance and Management under Section G, Obtaining Blood Samples from a PIC. When drawing blood from a central line, to avoid infection, attempt to draw as many lab specimens at once as possible. To avoid anemia, note the maximum amounts of blood that should be drawn. Aspirated blood that is kept sterile may only be reinfused in neonatal critical care patients up to 28 days of age. For information regarding blood amount or proper tubes, go to the lab directory that can be found on the intranet homepage. The discard volume when drawing from a pick line is 3 mils. If drawing blood cultures, note that the volume for each culture bottle is 1 mil for children weighing less than 10 kilogram and 3 mil for patients weighing more than 10 kilogram or the minimum discard volume for catheter type, whichever is greater. Note, you will find all of the priming volumes under Appendix A titled Priming Volumes Chart. For blood cultures, you may use the first discard sample if the specimen is kept sterile. Prepare your work surface using hospital-approved antiseptic. Perform hand hygiene. If you are drawing directly from the hub, apply and wear a mask. First, verify that the correct labs are being drawn from the correct patient and discuss the procedure with the patient and the family. Next, assemble the stopcock and two empty syringes aseptically onto your clean work surface. For a double lumen catheter, draw from the larger lumen and avoid the lumen that is being used for the administration of TPN. Central lines must be three fronts or larger in order to draw blood. Briefly pause IV infusions if applicable and if this is a double lumen, clamp the lumen not to be used for blood sampling. Connect the stopcock with the two 10 milliliter syringes and connect to the patient's catheter. Scrub the hub with alcohol wipes for 15 seconds and allow to dry for 15 seconds. Connect the stopcock with the two 10 milliliter syringes to the patient's catheter. Draw a discard from the catheter, a total of three milliliters. Turn the stopcock off to the waist and open to the specimen syringe and withdraw the appropriate amount of blood sample. If collecting blood culture specimens, clean the tops of the specimen bottles with alcohol allow to dry, and use a separate blunt tip for each bottle. Remove your specimen syringe. Attach your normal saline flush. Transfer your blood into the appropriate tubes and label each with the patient ID. And write the date, time, and your employee number on each. Flush the catheter with the stopcock in place with saline first, followed by heparin. Remove the stopcock. If you will be using the line, flush the catheter with normal saline, connect your IV tubing, open all clamps, and resume your infusion. Be sure to chart the blood draw in eye view at the top of the section titled Procedure Performed. Remove gloves and perform hand hygiene. 